Well, friends, we're here, the Mercedes-Benz experience. I'm Chris Arsenal, founder and CEO of the Darby Foundation, also Mercedes-Benz ambassador. Again, I have my special guest, Prophet Byron Harden, and also my son, my little mini-me here, Kyron Arsenal. Kyron, before I even go to Prophet, say a little bit about the, the new models that we have, okay? And I know you, you're like the version of me since 1995 when I started on the floor, and now he's, you know, learning the ranks as well. That's how they learn from the, you know, from, from the best. Hi, I'm Kyron. Um, tonight we have a couple new models out. Um, so we have the 2015 GLA 250 and the GLA 45. We have the 2015 C300, 2015 C400, and I think they're also showing their the B-Class electric drive, which is the first electric drive from, from Mercedes-Benz in a long time. The C400 has some really nice tires and rims, the C300 same, and I think the C300 is about 40,000, and then the C400 is about like, I think at least 9,000 more, so you know. You can also get like AMG packages and ton different colors, ex all sorts of accessories and everything. And this goes for any model here, you know? So again, as you see, as you see a little Kyron, you know, I've been teasing him and saying this because he came up with the name, but I came up with the name too. Now we're actually on camera talking about it. I jacked his name, Ben's Boy, but now we got to call ourselves the Ben's Boys. You know, that's a little hook that we have here. So now he got this smirk on his face. He said, Dad, I had this name. So again, the Mercedes-Benz experience, we're here tonight for the grand reopening of new ownership. We also have, like I said, I want to share, have Prophet Hart and share a little bit about what he's doing. Not only is he a brother in Christ, but also we're bringing everyone here, individuals from all walks. Because again, he's a new owner of a Mercedes-Benz. You know, I'm, I'm excited for him, special order. Again, we're excited about that. So Prophet, share a little bit about what, you know, the things that you're doing and you know, some of the things that we're doing as well. All right, all right. Well, we think, I um, really appreciate the opportunity to share. I am Prophet Byron Harden, and what we're doing is, uh, uh, my ministry is to uh, restore marriages and to bring enlightenment to relationships and uh, teach people about kingdom marriages. So we, right now we're working on myself and uh, Apostle uh, Jerry Howard. We're working on a um, uh, relationship marriage tour. We're going around, around the country uh, teaching on this, bringing enlightenment, especially in our church, yeah, to uh, one of the greatest uh, problems in our society now is the, uh, is the dismantling of marriages and families. The divorce rate is high. Seven out of 10 marriages are going to divorce. Nine out of ten marriages actually fail, so we're looking to restore marriages back here. Uh, we have a book coming out around December. It's called Obtaining a Marriage with No Regrets, and so we're excited about that. Yeah. Well, again, I'm happy about that. We're actually going to be sharing more about that, but I, w I wanted to you know, put you in the hot seat today to yeah. talk a little bit about what we're doing because, again, this is about bringing everybody together, bridging the gap, and sharing you know, the great things that we're doing. Again. I'm Chris Arsenault, ambassador with Mercedes-Benz and also founder and CEO of the Darby Foundation. We're here today. My name is Chris Arsenault, ambassador with Mercedes-Benz, and you're experiencing the Mercedes-Benz experience tonight. I have my good friend today, Principal Hank Williams. Hank, I want to say again, man, thank you for joining us. You know, just a little bit, you know, I know we've been doing a lot of things in the community. Share, share with the people some of the connections that we've, I know, family, mom, and, and the church, the community, what we're doing for the kids, what we're, what we're trying. And you could talk a little bit about the Darby Foundation. I don't want to talk about it, but you could share some of that. But go ahead and I'll let you uh, share some of that. Well, I'm very appreciative of the Darby Foundation. They came over to ABGS Middle School. They've been doing our career day every single year. They have a number of entrepreneurs who come and speak to the children. They make it real for them, make it realistic for them. Uh, it's just a great experience for our kids. We have 6th, 7th, and 8th graders, and we do a professional Tuesday once a month. 
kids are required to dress professional to school and begin to think about a career. Uh, we have students set up for interviews. Uh, they build on characters that they're supposed to have during interviews, um, building on resumes, all of the characteristics necessary to get the job. And that's what we talk about at the middle school, getting the job. We want the kids to not only graduate from college, we want them to have the experience and the skills to get the job because that becomes tough as well. So we're really appreciative of Chris and the Darby Foundation who came over and began to work with our students and work with our staff to really make our students believe in themselves. And so we appreciate that. Well, Hank, again. Hank, I want to say, man, you know, thank you for coming out and support us with the event, the Mercedes-Benz Experience. I'm Ambassador Chris Arsenal. We're here today looking to purchase, lease. We have all, all the models. We're looking to make deals. You come into the right place. Look out, Mercedes Benz of Massapequa. I have my good friend here. We've been following each other. I want to share a little bit about what you're doing. And I know you have something coming up this weekend. And we're definitely going to try to make it out there. So, again, Sarita, again, I want to say thank you for coming out and sitting in the hot seat just at the last minute from the cuff. So, go ahead and do your thing, girl. Hey, it's a pleasure to be here. I'm having a great time tonight, and um, it's always great to be with Chris and his son. It's a very good night. Uh, my name is Sarita Smiley. I'm an actress, and beside that, I do a lot of uh, community work. I'm a uh, New York State chaplain, and um, I just love helping people, helping the community. So um, this Saturday, October 25th, from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., I have an event coming up with actor um, Darren Henson. You might know him from Soul Food, Stomp the Yard, different movies like that. And we're just doing something for the community in Long Beach to give back to the young people. And so it's a community day. And so if you guys are available, come on out and um, have a good time with us. And the event is actually free. It's 615 Riverside in Long Beach, New York. And again, we're just doing something for the community to give back with uh, actor Darren Henson. Okay, so hopefully you guys can make it in. Come on out to Mercedes-Benz dealer. Great cars, great deals. Well, again, I, got, I don't have to say anything anymore, man. You're here at the gate. The Mercedes-Benz experience, Chris Arsenal. I can't ask for a better day. I don't even want anything. I got my son. I got some of the best people around me. What can I say? 14 years old. I'm proud of you, boy. Sharita, thank, thank you for having, you know, thanks for coming out. You know, again, friends, tune in. The Mercedes-Benz Experience, Chris Arsenal. I'm your guy. Whatever you need, we got the cars, we got the deals. Real deals, real people. We make them happen. We're making dreams. <laughs>
um, just just an awesome day, an awesome event. We had at least 1,000 people who participated in that event, and I look forward to working with you to be able to do that in Long Island and with some of the institutions out here. And um, I'm your avid, avid supporter and project manager to be able to help you do those things. Well, I've been praying for help, boy. I got it. <laughs> Darren has moved me from Brooklyn to Long Island and I guess I'm here just to be able to help you, you know, make this happen. Um, my name is Tisha Hart. I am a project manager as well as an investment advisor. And what I do is I actually help the community to bring to them, you know, information about wealth and how to accumulate wealth and just knowledge about money and how money works to be able to help them be able to retire with dignity and just have a little something more than what they had when they first started out. I mean, money isn't easy. Cash is king. Cash is king. And we all can have it. It just takes time, some small, tiny steps every day just to get on a wealth program to make things work and happen for us so that we can retire with dignity, not poverty, as well as leave a legacy for our future generations. But Chris, I just want to say thank you once again for inviting us here tonight. And this was just a great opportunity um, to be here. And I look forward to working with you with the community and being able to help you know, bring some opportunities out here to Long Island. Well, Tish, I couldn't, uh, like, like I warned you, she's locked and loaded. I mean, you, I couldn't find a, I mean, a beautiful angel that, that I ran across at Mega Everest College and helped me facilitate the first annual golf show coming to me, the first annual golf show. We took that auditorium area and, and turned it into a golf course. I mean, I couldn't believe it. So that's what it was about. We invited kids from all, all walks. So we did a couple years ago. Now we're going to be bringing that back. So again, we're working on it now. As I said now, then I got Trish in my corner and I got several others as well. We're going to put this project together. So Darren, I just want to share a little bit about what you're doing because you know we talked about entrepreneurship and she shared that as well. But also let them know how they can reach you as well. Okay. Well, you can reach me at um, Tisha S. Hart at Yahoo.com. That is my personal email address. And I will respond to you personally. And that's Tisha, T-I-S-H-A, S is in Sam, Hart, H-A-R-T, at Yahoo.com, as well as Legacy Financial. And my cell phone number is 347-790. 4755. That's 347-790-4755. I'm very responsive to the community and I will get back to you to answer your financial concerns and help you with whatever financial needs you have. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Stitch. Again, Darren, share a little bit. I know we talked about, you know, what we've learned, but now when we put on that hat now to go out and start doing our own thing, yeah. share a little bit of people that transition from you, for, you know, for you making those steps. Okay, well, um, I have 20 years of background in uh, software development, uh, working for a lot of the major corporations uh, over the years. Uh, two years ago, I decided to start my own software development corporation. Um, so my name is Darren Wallace. I'm the president of Vanguard Technical Solutions. Um, and what I basically do is I'm the kind of guy who makes your websites work better. Um, I design applications that specialize in Microsoft technologies, SQL Server, ASP, and so forth. Um, you know, I work basically with a lot of IT managers. Uh, and like I said, over 20 years of experience, not just in software development, but also in computer training. Um, and just something I've loved since I was a kid. You know, something I got into literally at 17 years old. Uh, that I decided, you know, after doing it for so long for so many different organizations that I needed to be able to do it for myself. Uh, two years ago, got out there and just gave it a go, and business has been going good. Um, I can be reached. Uh, my name of my company is called Vanguard Technical Solutions. Um, my website is www.vanguardtech, that's T E K, solutions.com, and my number is 347 944 4138. Uh, basically, I work on a project-by-project -project basis. Uh, you give me your specifications. We give you an estimate on what it is that it's going to take to accomplish what you want. And basically, I'll take any type of application that you are using or if you need something designed from scratch, and we'll finalize it and get it out there for you to use. So that's what we do. You know, as we all talk about, we all have that passion that, um, 
something that we want to design, create. And that's what I do right in the community. I tell the kids, and I'm speaking in the college, you know, we were talking about Nassau. Nassau just contracted me to not only come in to uh, do a project with uh, Chris Broussard, ESPN, but also come in and speak to the kids. That's what it's about. Letting them know they can do this. Whatever you dream, whatever you see, you got to reply to the work. So you're going to work in the industry, in the marketplace, and now it's at some time you're going to have to say, look, sit down and look yourself in the mirror. I could do this because I'm watching everything from everybody else. And I learned this before from other people, but the re- only thing it requires is action. And that makes rubber, making the rubber meet the road. And listen, you're looking at this video, you're looking at a person to the left that's doing it, Another young lady on the right that's doing it. And you're looking at it, I'm telling you, I'm only talking about the same thing that, that, that I'm delivering is what I'm saying. It's possible. You're here tonight, the Mercedes-Benz Experience with Chris Arsenault. F- follow us on the Darby Foundation. You can also follow, look me up on the website. I'm on pretty much every social media account. I made sure I put my name out there and they know about me. So, again, I appreciate you guys. The Mercedes-Benz Experience with Chris Arsenault. Well, friends, we're here, the Mercedes-Benz Experience with Chris Arsenault. We're here on Long Island. Again, we have a wonderful night. We had live entertainment, good food, great people, people from all walks. I, I want to just, I'm just excited to have one of my buddies that are, that are here, man. Not only he's worked, we've worked together in the market, the mortgage industry, but he's here. He's actually done some amazing things. I think he has a great story that you will be inspired by because it takes a lot, courageous. Just like when I went out, when the mortgage industry uh, went to the wayside. I went out on the street and started building things. You know, the community started working with kids and, and doing all these different things to help people. That's what it's about. So, again, Dwight has a great message. I, I'm telling you, you're going to be surprised when you hear this young man and what he's been able to accomplish. So, Dwight, again, thank you for ha- coming out on the show, man, and share a little bit about what, you, what you've been able to do, you know, and what you've been able to accomplish. And I'm hoping your story will inspire someone. Again, thank you, man, for coming out. Oh, thanks for having me, Chris. Oh, like we said, we started in the same walks of life. We was in mortgage sales. We was trying to make it happen. And, you know, that slowed up a little bit, so we had to figure out something else. At that point, I decided to chase my dream, which was becoming a, a professional poker player, you know. Um, with that, that I, was, I was able to travel the world, wow. learn a lot of experiences, meet a lot of people. Now you said you, you, you did poker. I mean, tell me a little bit about what your rankings and what pots you hit. Share people with that information. I'm actually a world poker tour champion. Wow. I actually won the largest... Um, largest field. When you of say large, what's, what's, what was the pot though? You know, you hit it. What year? When did you hit this? This was 2010. I won about 800,000 in that 800, tournament. 800,000 dollars. Playing poker. Can you imagine? That? <laughs> oh yeah, wow. it was it was a pretty sick rush. And about 2010, I was the number two player in the world. I turned 300 dollars into. Did you hear that? The number two poker player in the world. Oh yeah, for sure. I turned um 300 dollars into 1.5 million or something like that. You heard that, folks? Three hundred dollars into one point five million. It's possible. Listen to this story. Oh yeah, just a kid with a dream. I seen these guys on TV making it happen. I said I could be one of those guys too. You know, don't they had the same intangibles as me? You know, I just had to get my fundamentals down. Um, like you said, we was in the same uh, mortgage business, so I learned a lot from you coming up. Uh, five, ten years ago, you was the guy I looked up to, saying that I wanted to be a guy just like you, a guy that was straightforward and gets the job done. You know. Right. Appreciate that. So with the skill sets I've learned, you know, being able to follow somebody like you, I've used that to do my own dream right. and go out there and just try to make it happen. Right. I'm still trying to do that and still trying to progress every day because that's what it's about. That's amazing as you're saying that, you know, he's, he took a $300 dream and turned it into a $1.5 million reality. Traveled the world, number two poker player in the world. Can you imagine that, folks? Again, what he's sharing there, it's possible. And that's what it's about today. Our goals, our dreams. We got people from all walks. Everybody that's coming on this chair, I'm telling you, we got people from all walks. I had to have Dwight. I say, Dwight, come put a plug in, man. Share a little bit about what you've done. And that's what it's about. I mean, you imagine that hitting $1.5 million. And I think you had, you know, you had a, a contract that was coming up to you for a couple million dollars before this online. Share a little bit about that as well. What happened with that? Oh, yeah. In 2011, they had a big um, on, they had an online website named PokerStars in Full Tilt. You know, they was able to, to make about... They had a, a big organization making billions a year. Wow. So the market, yeah, the market was kind of like 
crazy at that point, you know, at in 2000, uh, on April 11, 2010, 2011, they took away online gambling from America. Wow. So you only could do that in like Canada or the UK or, wow. you know, anywhere out of the country. Wow. At the same time, it took you away took the big, big market. You took a big hit as well. I mean, some opportunities that would have come your way as well. I took one of the biggest hits, wow. you know, because I was the hottest player in the world at that time. Imagine you being the, the young hottest player in the world about to get the biggest contract and at the same time they took away the biggest market from your, wow. your, your company, you know? Wow. So I had to change up a few things. At the same time, I still have my contract coming to me because I still have my, my positions well, can't set in stone. You, can't take that away. you know, once you do certain things, they can never take it away, like right. you said. So right now we're just waiting for the market to open up and then, you know, the floodgates open up again. Right. Again, you know, Dwight, I want to say, man, I told you folks, he has an amazing story. He took a $300 dream to a 1.5 reality. And I think, you know, I think you hit like about 3 million or 3 million and a half or whatever it was. But he's also was offered multi-million dollar contracts before these things. So again, no matter what your feel, your career, your desire, your dream, your goal, it's possible. Dwight, I think I want to say again, thank you for coming on, man, and, and, and sharing that because I'm hoping this message inspired someone. And that's what my message is all about, about inspiring people. No matter what your walks are, whatever your talk, whatever your dream, your passion, you got to take action. Dwight went on the road. He traveled the world. This is Chris Arsenal with Mercedes-Benz Experience. Thank you. Friends, we're here, the Mercedes-Benz Experience with Chris Arsenault. I have some amazing guests here today. I tell you, on my left, I have Pastor Phil with the Freeport Little League. He's also going to share some other things also. He's also the pastor in a, at a Freeport church. Not only is a very close friend of, uh, of my bishop, but also I'm always in good company when I'm rubbing elbows with, with individuals like this. So again, on my right, I have Mike, with the, with, you know, also with the uh, Freeport Little League. And what they're doing to the kids, you know, working three to four hundred plus kids, you know, I think you say, Mike, three to four hundred kids. And I mean, it's amazing. He runs across one of the young men that played third base right here at the function that we had tonight. So, again, Mike, share a little bit about what you have been able to do with the kids and what your organization is about and, you know, touching these kids and why it's important that we have these programs available. And, again, you have the outing coming up as well. You'll be talking about that. So, again, share a little bit about what you're doing. Uh, Introduce yourself. My name is Michael Villas. I'm the uh, president of the Freeport Little League. I've been involved in the league for about 16 years. Uh, this year, we had over 430 kids signed up and, to play baseball in the village of Freeport. Uh, what we do is that we try to show and instill in the kids the values of adult men. A lot of our children come from single family homes. They don't have the opportunity to see men at work, so to speak. You know, what we, and they see how, the, how we, we, uh, we perform the different tasks, how we problem solve, and how we try to resolve those issues which are important to the league. They also get the opportunity to see that Freeport Little League is an opportunity league. We're involved with the high school coach, who in the past two years has been able to send six kids to college on scholarships for baseball. You know, so our league, it's all about opportunity. We want all the kids to come here, learn the baseball skills, but learn those skills that you need to become a person in our society, a Someone who some, they will point to and say, hey, I want to be like that. Wow. That's amazing. You know, as Mike was sharing that, I got a um, text message from Doc uh, Gooden. And it's amazing I haven't even shared that with you. But I was trying to get Doc to come tomorrow. And I would have uh, just turned your girl's world off, you know. You know so I'm not going to go there. So I had to spill the beans, but I waited for the camera. But again, I'm, I'm going to be having dinner with him. Okay. So not only that, but I know you know we all have something to offer and just i know here's a guy that's in your element your field that the kids can relate to because that's what we talked about 
that's what it's about. So again, I have to I have Pastor Phil. He's going to share a little, a little bit about what he does as well, and also how we have fun in the golf course. And also they have an outing coming up. So make sure you guys come out and support us as well on that on the outing. You know, the Freeport Little League annual outing. As far as the outing, uh, this is actually uh, our third year doing it. Unfortunately, this year we've had some struggles with the weather. Uh, we were originally scheduled for September 25th and had bad weather that day. Had to reschedule it. It was supposed to be tomorrow. Unfortunately, uh, we had to reschedule that again because of weather. Uh, so now we're looking at next Thursday, uh, the 30th. So hopefully the weather will cooperate. We'll be able to have a nice day. Um, the first two years, we didn't have any problems. We had absolutely gorgeous days, and, and we had some momentum built up. So now we're going to have to try and build the momentum again. Um, but one of the things that struck me about this is I've thought about it, because, um, you know, you hear all the time people say it's about the kids, it's about the kids, and certainly it is about the kids. Um, but I went back, I started coaching uh, when my oldest was uh, 14, and she's uh, 28 now. So my experience with the Little League spans that uh, amount of time. My youngest uh, is 18 now, and uh, he's no longer playing. But after uh, he got to a certain point where um, I didn't feel like I was going to adequately coach him well, I got the opportunity to go back and start working with the younger kids again. So uh, I did 11 and 12 year olds this year. And it's actually the third year that I've been with this group. I started with them when they were 9 and 10, and then last year is 11 and 12s, and then again this year at 11 and 12s. And one of the things that I noticed is that there's a dynamic that happens with the families as well. Because you get kids that are growing through the program together and the moms and the dads start to talk to one another and they develop a camaraderie and we had uh, a little uh, section down the right field or left field line depending on what side we were on where the moms would bring their beach chairs and they would uh, sit down and have a time together and even if the kid wasn't on our team moms from other teams would come because this was a, a, a little community that was developing. So it's a lot more than just the kids, it's the families as well. And then as the families start to connect, you really have an impact on the community. So uh, it's a great thing, and, and I'm glad to do that. Uh, I also pastor First Baptist Church, and we've sponsored teams in the Little League for a long time and uh, just assist in other various functions. So we get to see some of the benefits of that in a lot of different directions, and it's been a blessing for us. That's amazing. You know, as Pastor was sharing that, you know, that's what it's about all the different individuals coming into this seat tonight we're about helping kids no matter what our class is inspiring no matter our feel and you know it's amazing as we share you ran across a young man that plays third base and what you said too is about family and sometimes we got to go outside the box to bring this thing together and i appreciate what y'all do i mean i commend you both and again you are both mentors to me as well because you're out there in the field doing it. And it's, it takes a lot, you know, to go out. 430 kids, you know, each year, the scholarships. That's what it's about. So, again, again, you friends, we have uh, Pastor Phil and we also have Mike. You're listening to the Mercedes-Benz Experience. We had an amazing night tonight with the new GLA and the C-Class that was launched tonight. And also the Mercedes-Benz Experience with Chris Arsenal. You can reach me directly on Facebook or call me direct at 917-697-7958, Ambassador with Mercedes-Benz.